Welcome to my no viewer, not monetized channel. So I upload voiceover on manga that I translated and um, you can turn on the English subtitles for better experience, but I might not uh, upload on time when the video uploads. So it might take like one or two days after that. I'll try my best. And yeah, just jump into the video and enjoy. Hi guys, welcome back to Manga Monday. So what will happen to Naya? Let's find out in this chapter. The Eastern Empire must pay 6,000 pounds of gold to Saga and pay 700 pounds of tribute gold to Saga each year. The ransom for each captive is 12 Earths. Years of tribute? Want me? To give him, to give Saga. A tribute to Lazio. Ha 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 Seems that this oriental lion has finally revealed his greedy nature. That's good. It finally becomes interesting. Why is why is Naya so twisted and psychopath? But in the last slide, he actually looks kind of sad. He just don't want to admit it. The Song of Theater, Chapter Ninety Eight. Voiceover by Lambomation. After that massive military expansion completely failed, a series of natural disasters suddenly occurred in the Eastern Empire, like a natural punishment. The appalling earthquake was accompanied by a severe famine. It completely destroyed the rich and prosperous Eastern Empire in the past. During this time, under the leadership of Lazio, Saga became stronger and stronger. He seized the opportunity to quickly invade the northern province of Eastern Empires, Cyrus. The Saga army captured the important city of Akadoris in the Eastern Empire and approaching the capital of the Eastern Empire. Eastern Empire Emperor Naya was invited to go to the city of Akadoris to sign a peace agreement with Saga. So now Naya is actually signing a peace agreement, finally. Not any traps or tricks. Some rolling sound. The residents here behaved calmly towards the arrival of Saga army. Since the army entered the city, there hasn't been large-scale resistance. The city was taken down without effort. Akadaris is different from Constantine. Although Constantine is now the place most severely affected by the earthquake. Ruined lands and collapsed houses are everywhere. But after all, it is the capital of Eastern Empire, even if you invade it by force. No, it should be said that the more you attack the less you'll be able to win the support of the people. 
you will only end up with a loss from both sides. So cute. Is she worried about me attacking Constantine? Akadora is located at the main junction of the three countries. It is also a trading port near the sea. So, it has always been a battlefield for all countries. So, this is the map. Um, the horse symbol is Saga, the eagle is Western Empire, the snake is Eastern Empire, and Constantine is where the empty circle is, and Akdoris is the red circle. So wait, so Akdoris was originally Western Empire's land, and then... Eastern Empire invaded, so I claimed the land his own, but now Saga took the land. That's a very interesting location. The border is kind of vague, I guess, on that land. The hair changes all year round. And the residents don't care who's on the throne. She is always like this. She even cares about people of the other countries. As long as they can live and work in peace, they will sincerely support the one who rule. Make others happy as her own happiness. I will do my best to help them rebuild their homes. Mm. Great! Latu is working hard to make his people love him. Oh, Sienna is so cute. She's so loving and caring. And she not only cares about her own country, but she also cares about other people. That's why she is a king material. She cares about people. In Latu's mind, she is so cute. I need to calm down. Calm down. Latu, calm down. Now work first, then continue make babies. But calm down. <laughs> and they change the flags. Sienna, I want you now. Wanting him to destroy his rational thoughts. And reveal his instincts. Suddenly remember and blush. Sienna, calm down too. <laughs> Work first, then make babies. <laughs> the sea breeze is strong, so be careful not to catch the cold. I'm fine. You forgot. I have lived in this climate since I was a child. I like how she looks so freely and happily, just like she was young, so fearless and so courageous. Oh, but Latia knows. It looks like she wants to fly away and go back to her own country kind of feeling. I didn't forget. Ah! A storm is coming.
Your Majesty, we arrived. Get out of my way! Shake. Unreasonable. Kill all the guys who built this ship for me. Your Majesty, calm down. The shipyard collapsed in the earthquake. This is the best ship we can find so far. Whisper. Yo! Welcome, Your Majesty Naya. Arrived the city of Akadoris. Saga's territory. Ooh, that is such a burn. A second ago, it was Eastern Empire's territory, but now it's Saga's. And I is really angry, I can tell. That's all for chapter 98. It is very interesting to see Naya's back. And I hope that he actually signed a peace treaty this time, not to cause any trouble anymore. And I want to... Also, I want to see his side of the story. I never know what he suffered during his childhood that make the person he is now. But still, he deserved to have bad luck. To be honest, it's not even bad luck at this point. If he didn't spend so much money to expand his military when Eastern Empire was prosperous, and if he didn't make so many countries to become his enemy, he won't suffer so much now. He didn't prepare if there's natural disaster or maybe economic downfall happens, and what can he do? Anyways, thank you for watching, and see you guys next Monday. Thank you!